Hey guys, welcome back. Last time we saw how we can go ahead to retrieve all our created to do's. So in this video, what I want us to do is to add these filter options down here. So users can actually filter the current view they are looking at. So they should be able to filter by the remaining to do's, the ones that have a no, the ones that have a yes, and also all of them. So currently what we have is some static information here. So we'll be seeing how to pass, how to get these values here and pass them to the template. So apparently I've gone ahead to add T foot. So here in the table footer, we have another row. So this is the row here where we are showing this. So we want every time a user clicks on the first one, we want to basically filter this. So to get these values first, we're going to go to our view. I'm going to have another variable to handle the completed count. <clears throat> now we have already made our query from the DB. So what we want is we want to run the other operation on the data we already have. So here we can do to do's. Then we want to use filter. So we want to filter by is completed it should be true. So we can say is completed equals true like this. And this should be just a key like this. So this key we want to make sure it is the same as we have in the models which is the same all right so that's going to give us the ones that are completed so if we want to count them we can do dot count like this and we should be able to get the count of course to get the incomplete or the incomplete I'm just going to say incomplete count then we can just filter by is completed equals false okay then we also need the all see we already have the all the all adds to do's so we can also count those so we can say all count all count then we can just say to do dot count okay so let's pass these ones down so we want to pass all count let's pass completed count then let's pass the incomplete count okay so now we can move to our template and we replace this 20 so for we replace this 10 so this is going to be the all count then this is going to be incomplete count then this is going to be completed so if we come back over here and refresh you see that we get the count here five are completed two are not all are seven so now we need to handle the filtering so when the user clicks here we should change what we are viewing here so for us to be able to do that we already know that what we are seeing here is in the variable called to do this so now we need a way of changing this in a dynamic way depending on what the user clicked on so whenever a user clicks on on one of them what we will do is uh, here whenever a user clicks we are going to be making another get request so here where we where we have this we are going to be making a request to slash filter then we'll say cause so this is for the all so we'll say all then i'm going to duplicate this for the other hrefs so this is gonna be complete actually incomplete then we can replace this one also this can now be complete so if we save and come back here and just refresh it if we click remaining you see you get this click here see get this click see get this so now we need a way to handle uh, this changing this depending on what we use in the url so let's go back to our view and do handle that so here where we pass to do's, we are going to be passing a function. So here we are going to be calling a function called get showing to do's. So let's call it. It's going to need to have access to the request. So let's pass the request to it. And also the to do's we want to filter. Okay, so let's create this function. So we can come back over here and create this function. So we expect the request and also the user. No, no also the do's all right so here let's return the to do's for now so it keeps working so yep so if you come here and refresh you see we get this okay so now to be able to know what is in the url we can check request dot get so request dot get gives us everything or every parameter in the url so that's always a dictionary so we want to check if we have that so if we have that we want to check what it is so now we can check if request dot get then let's check for the filter because that's what we expect so if we have that then if we have that then we want to check now what the value of that filter is so here we can check then we can check if it is equal to 
let's first check for complete okay so if it's complete we want to be returning so we want to be returning the to do's this but we want to filter by complete equal is complete equals true and this should be two equal signs and save so let's go ahead and handle the other case for the for incomplete so let's make sure the indentation is good then we say incomplete then here we can just do false again so for all we can check if it's all but all is going to be the default one so if it doesn't really match any of these then we can go ahead and uh, return to those okay so the all is going to be handled by this otherwise if we have the like this in the filter then we are going to be filtering and returning this yeah so whenever we have this we want to do a get so we want to do dot get on it similarly we also want to do a get, dot get here because it's a dictionary so also let's make sure we uh pressing here okay and save we need to make sure this is is completed so is completed because that is what we have in the model so if we change that and refresh you see that now it is showing only the completed ones if we click on two remaining you see it changes those and if we click here you see it goes back okay so this is gonna do it for now so in the next one we are going to go ahead and start working on the details page and see how to retrieve a single one so thanks guys for watching i'll talk to you next time